What's going on everybody? We are going for a little drive here on a Saturday morning. Weather's starting to get a little bit better and as we approach the midway point in March, April's coming right around the corner and that's when our season starts. So uh, just left the uh, 76, 76th Street uh, truck stop diner, got some breakfast, feel like I might throw up, ate a little too much. but. Uh, Getting on the highway right now, gonna head up to Wyoming, Michigan to see Tech Performance to pick up our motor um, so we can get that in the car, uh, wrap everything up. We really did not have to do a lot of work this uh, this past winter with the little amount of racing we were able to do last summer. So we're uh, gonna get the motor back, start working on putting that in today. We got a little bit of other work we need to do to the car as well before we get, get rolling. But we're gonna get started today by by uh, making the trip down the highway. Alrighty, it's a little chilly out here, but got the engine loaded up here at SeaTac Performance. You gotta see, we got a car here where uh, Arnie's helping get back running. So, having a good time out here. So, yeah, the SeaTac Performance out here um, in Wyoming, Michigan, um, just, just southwest of uh, Grand Rapids. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, it's a th about 30 minutes away from, from us, so uh, yeah, we're looking forward to, to getting this bad boy home and, and uh, get all, we got to put all the, the front assembly on and uh, obviously bell housing, bell housing and all that, and then we'll get it in the car. So yeah, thanks to Tech Performance, um, especially uh, we uh, kind of got to it, got it to them late, uh, just honestly three weeks ago, so quick turnaround. Didn't have to do any work, we didn't end up doing any work to the the motors other than just go through make sure everything was good with it so um quick turnaround and got to thank them for for getting it back to us in time for the season Alrighty, so we're back in the shop got the motor unloaded i uh, got it flipped over right now on the engine stand gonna paint the oil pan um just kind of with the speedy dry and things like that it kind of leaves like a residue on there and you just can't wipe it off so we just want to clean it up it's something that you'll never see but we just want to make sure everything's cleaned up. Um, we're doing a little something different um, in the shop um, going into this year. Um, we have two doors in our in our barn, and we normally always here in this first bay, um, closest to the door, would put our trailers, and then we would normally put like the race car or the quarter midgets over there where the trailer is currently sitting, um, as well as we'd have like the cutlass up front here. Well, going into going into this year, we're gonna move the cutlass up front here again, but back here in, in, in the back of the shop here, this um, slab of concrete, and there's a second one behind it. They're the, uh, they're the flattest ones. We've we got cleaned everything out and we were like trying to level and see what, you know, what some flat areas in here were. And that's actually the flattest part of the barn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the race car there. That way when we scale the car and you know, we're working on it, trying to do the setup stuff. We have the flattest part, you know, not necessarily a, a setup plate, but the closest thing we can get to it in here um, to make sure that we're able to get a consistent reading when we're scaling the car or trying to level it up. So um, needless to say, um, we're gonna have the trailer over here. That way we're also, the, we don't have to walk around the trailer to get into the door. We can just, you know, work right here. We also might turn the car sideways to give ourselves more room, um, but anyway, like uh, like I said earlier, we're we're midway midway through through March, and uh, you know racing season's right around the corner. So getting the motor back, we got to put that in to to be ready. Um, otherwise, we didn't have to do a lot of work to the car this off season. So the only other thing we're gonna do is um, change the front nose and put a new hood on. We've had uh, obviously last year destroying that right front fender, and then. Um, we had put new fenders on beforehand. Um, we just had to trim up the hood a few times and ultimately it's just gotten a little too small. So, um, you know, when you're dealing with the, uh, you don't want the hood being too small and then having a gap there. That's just, that's just not good for your aerodynamics, right? So we need to get a new hood and new nose. Um, so that way we'll be good to go looking good. So we're going to, that's going to be the last thing we need to do as well as get the motor in to be ready to get going. So we got, um, you know, we're getting our shocks put back together um, to be ready to get to go. We'll have to move the cutlass, get the car pushed in the position so that way we can do all our setup work to it and uh, 
yeah, we'll uh, get working on getting the motor in this weekend and we'll see where we are from there. Alrighty, so we've been working, getting the motor, all the, you know, bolt-on stuff. Put back on it, move the uh, car forward. We're going to try and get it set down in today. So I just brought it forward, got the front tires off, got it up in the air. That way we can get working, got the motor up off the stand on the cherry picker. Just putting the, the flywheel on now. Just getting a good old... Got most of the front end stuff. Don't got the power steering pump on yet. But got everything else in. So just working. Just trying to get everything done. Get the bell housing on here in a minute. I think we'll probably put the transmission on as well. And uh, we get we we got to get some uh, Permatex to put on the header. So we have that coming. Hopefully it'll be here today. So we could we can put it on the right side, passenger side header on while we're putting the motor in. So we kind of want to do that, it makes it a lot easier. So, or sorry, driver side. So I'm gonna try and do that, I'm gonna keep working. Um, it's going good, just trying to be patient, really pay attention to everything that we're doing, make sure we're doing everything. Alrighty, so it's the next day, uh, Sunday. As you saw the time lapse, we uh, dropped the motor down in, uh, but we kind of stalled out there because we got the motor in and we were trying to bolt it down and uh, the rear motor mounts were flipped. So I'm on, on these motors, the front ones have the biggest difference. So like they're normally the most important to put in the right location. And the rear ones are normally identical, but when we push the motor as far to the driver's side of the car as, as we can, we have to drill out and kind of make a little bit of extra slop in them, in the slots on them, to allow the motor to get over. So um, I put the front ones on. My father put the back ones on. He put them on backwards. So fixing that right now. Nice so calm yeah. So uh, he's just tightening it back because uh, then you have to pull, pull the bell housing off and have a lot of fun doing that. So luckily we caught it. I mean, of course you're gonna catch it because it wouldn't bolt up, but you know, obviously we didn't add, put the transmission on with the motor just up in the air because that would have been more of a, a pain. Uh, we got the headers on, which is kind of what locks you into like, if you want to pull it off, you have to, you're gonna have to redo all your gasket uh, stuff. So anyway, we're just working on that now. Should be able to, once we get that done bolt the motor down get the transmission in and, and alrighty so got got the motor in got those uh motor mounts situated also got the transmission on and we've as you can see got the intake on now um just in power steering pump our fuel line belts everything everything is good to go really all we need to do now is uh i'm gonna pull the spark plugs out to cycle the motor over get oil in it we're not going to worry about that today um it's about four or five o'clock now so we're going to call it a day just once again just kind of be impatient with it just making sure we're going over everything so all we got to do now is put the drive shaft in put the uh rest of the exhaust on and we'll be good to go to, to fire it up so hopefully next video we'll have that going and and definitely gonna this next week's gonna be pretty cold so it's gonna suck but luckily with this done um, the car will be ready to to go, um, you know, minding some, you know, setup stuff that we need to do. 
But otherwise, I just want to thank um, everyone at SeaTech Performance, Arnie and Ginger, uh, for getting this motor back to us fairly quickly. Just weren't sure with, if we were going to change anything on it. We didn't end up, and everything looked good in it as they took it apart and put it back together. So really excited to get back out on the track. Just once again, really want to thank them for all the work that they've done for us throughout all the years we've been racing. I'm getting this motor originally built and then continuing to just help us out and maintenance it um, throughout the years. So i um, excited to get this thing fired up hopefully in the next video um, so season's coming closer and we'll continue to make some more videos until we get out on the track so i want to thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time